There was a lot to like, not much to dislike and there was a lot to be giddy about in the Eagles 51-23 victory over the Denver Broncos at Lincoln Financial Field Sunday afternoon. The good, quarterback Carson Wentz's touch in lofting a perfect, arching 32-yard strike to Alshon Jeffrey for the Eagles' first score and a 7-3 lead with 6.34 left in the first quarter. Wentz finished completing 15 of 27 for 199 yards and 4 TDS. Right tackle Lane Johnson's great work against Von Miller throughout the whole game. When Miller was lined left, his name was hardly called at all. Denver had to move Miller around for the perennial Alper linebacker to get any penetration. Johnson was hurt in the third quarter and still stayed in the game, despite limping noticeably. Johnson later left in the fourth quarter. Running back Jay Hodges' 46-yard TD run with 1.20 left in the first half giving the Eagles a 31-9 first half lead. Safety Rodney McLeod's third quarter interception and five-yard return, which led to Alshon Jeffrey's second TD reception. Kicker Jake Elliott's 45-yard field with 1.53 left in the first quarter that gave the Eagles a 10-3 lead. Defensive end Brandon Graham's tackle on Jamal Charles for a one-yard loss with 5.49 left in the first quarter. Defensive end Vinnie Curry's tackle on C.J. Anderson for a two-yard loss on Denver's second drive. Curry went through two blockers for a sack of Brock Osweiler for a 104, running back Corey Clemens' 15-yard touchdown on a went screen and a very well-designed play. The Broncos' defense rolled right to Gray Burton coming out of the backfield, and Clement snuck behind a wall of blockers and took a short screen from Wentz. Clement scored three times, 